Well, I think I'm so passionate about children's literature because uh, I love to immerse myself into the magic of a book. And uh, it's as though I dive through the words into the pictures and I can just visualize it. And it's a moment in my day where I can just sort of feel free and feel uh, open and, and just uh, that anything's possible. So it's really, I'm, I'm intoxicated by the imagination coming from children's literature. I think kindness is so important to me because I believe that it should be on the curriculum. The, the KQ, the kindness quota, you know, you have EQ, IQ, and now you have KQ. And I think kindness should be on the curriculum. That, that really, it's about uh, giving hope to children. You know, when you go into a room to read a children's book, and uh, the other day I wrote, I read Arthur Fantastic and uh, it was, well, I could have written Arthur Fantastic because he's a unicorn into the school, but I didn't. I read Arthur Fantastic and I remember reading it from little ones all the way through. And uh, I said, do you know where happy is? And they all went, no, no, looking around, trying to find happy. And I said, happy's here, happy's in the heart. So it's a real, a real treat to be able to talk to you on uh, this incredible day about International Children's Book Day, about, uh, about the love of kindness uh, through literature. I, th I think it's so exciting on International Children's Book Day is to delve into the history of children's books. Ah, <gasps> like the grim tales. Mm. Or Hans Christian Andersen, and of course it's Hans Christian Andersen's birthday. So, uh, you know, I, I know all of you uh, listening or watching would, would remember Hans Christian Andersen really well, but you know, Thumbelina, little Thumbelina, the ugly duckling, hmm? and uh, just, just, just so many titles that Hans Christian Andersen took us on this journey, on a wonderful journey, and uh, they inspire me. And, and I really, I suppose that's why I've partnered with, with Karen McDermott at, at uh, Serenity Press, because lovely Karen has allowed me the ability to be able to, to take my imagination and to keep, keep the colour and the magic and, and uh, my, my belief in kindness. And, and I really want to honour and thank Hans Christian Andersen on this day for really helping me. When I, when I was young, some of my favorite books were Thelwell, uh, when the little girl was on her very fat pony and, um, and then the fat pony would throw her off o over a fence and then stick his tongue out at her. <laughs> he didn't want to have anyone riding him. <laughs> so Thelwell, My Friend Flicker, Jill's Jim Carner, Eni Blyton, then I had another one which was about a little pony that was so hurt when when a bigger horse came in and he was left out and he couldn't do anything to help. Uh, obviously, as you can understand, I'm talking all about animals. I'm talking about uh, a big red. No, it was big yellow. No, it was yellow, the Labrador, I think it was. And anyway, it, I was also, oh, I know, uh, the, well, there's so many to choose from, but it was, um, it's funny to think that I became a princess when most people were reading children's books about princesses and, and uh, I was reading about becoming a show jumper and, and just immersing myself into, into uh, horses and ponies. It was really, it's really funny. I suppose that's why I love Arthur Fantastic because he's, uh, he's a very spirited unicorn. So I was asked, what do I really feel about talking about International Children's Book Day? And I am committed, I am, so excited, I, I would like to collaborate with the world's children uh, to read more books, to, to dive into the magic of, um, of magic, of unicorns, of, of, just, of, of just anything is possible. And I remember when I was reading to my girls and I would walk in and it was around about seven o'clock and I was thinking, oh, long day, you know, this is when they were really wee little tots. And uh, I'd sit, they'd sit on the bed and they'd go, mommy, mommy, tell us a story. And I remember thinking, oh gosh, now what can we tell a story about today? 
<clears throat> well, one day there was a pony and the pony was called Roni. Roni the pony, that's right. Yes, Roni the pony. And Roni the pony would go on adventures and he would go and walk over the bridge and under the river and there he'd find a troll. He'd be frightened of the troll. So my imagination ran completely uh, away with myself, but they were gripped and, and they used to end with, Mummy, is there such a thing as a Roni the pony? Is he pink? And I say, yes. There is such a thing as a roan pony. And I was very, 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 very pleased uh, when I wrote Little Red and uh, Gino the dog and Little Blue that I included hmm, Roni the pony in honour of my girls. And uh, Roni the pony only goes anywhere with a huge bag of carrots. So you see, thank you girls for uh, inspiring me to write these books and... Uh, Really, I'm very, very lucky. And so I've got all my characters. And when I sit alone and quietly, I, I'm never alone because I have just such a fantastic time with literature and children's books. And um, it really has inspired me to, to, to keep going. And during this last year in the pandemic, you know, every single day, I was determined to read books to children. and. Uh, I think when, when it first started, I was very sort of, hello, and we're reading today. And when we've ended, which is why I've got this band on, I, well, we still haven't ended, we're still going, still going. Fergie and Friends, story time. And I think even last week, uh, I was told that I could read a book about unicorn farts. Oh, my goodness, what would Hans Christian Andersen say? <laughs>